Okay, we now come to the very central and essential portion of the celebration of Sri Dasamuya festivity. We shall begin with Srila Gurudev offering, making his own offering to Srila Prabhupada. So I would request you know, Srila Gurudev to read his offering uh, that he has made to Srila Prabhupada in the year 2011. Namo Vishnu Pada Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamin Nitinamine Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pacharane Nirvishesha Sanyavadi Pashyatya Deshikari Dear Srila Prabhupada, please accept my humble obeisances. I'll offer my false ego at your lotus feet. So you, you may kick me so hard that it may fall far away and drop, smashed. On this Ramanavmi day, in the Srimad Bhagavatam class, which was given by my god brother, Bivin Nashindra Maharaj, on Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, third chapter, twenty-second verse, I received a big job when he read your purpose. There you state that no one can change the order of the Lord, who has manifested reality by his internal potency. Not even Ravan could finish his staircase to heaven, by which he hoped to allow everyone to go there without proper qualification. I always knew that preaching requires some calculated risk. However, such risk must be calculated under full protection of the principles set down by Guru Sadhana and Shastra so that the order of the Lord will not be violated. But seeing the failure all around caused by uncalculated risk, also called deviation or transgressing the order of the Lord, I have become very much alarmed. Many examples have started appearing before me like demons who are envious of the Lord and His devotees, who violate His order and who are smashed. The non-devotee jnanis think themselves liberated, but even if they rise up to the Brahma Jyoti, they ignominiously fall from there because of violating the orders of the Lord and maintaining a dirty intelligence which prevents them from taking shelter of your lotus feet. The Mayavadis are always smashed by their own perverted intelligence which convinces them to try to become God, an effort which itself constitutes a violation of the law of the order. So, what to speak of the Ritvik Vadis, who manufacture grotesque meaning out of the clearly expressed desire of your divine dreams? Similarly, a lowly devotee like me, who has so far failed to please you, also feels a chill in my false ego, telling me, I must be violating the order of the Lord. Therefore, on this holy appearance day of your divine grace, I humbly pray to you, the representative of Lord Krishna, that you please smash my false ego and lift me up, your servant Vedriyas Krishna. I have, I have felt truly that whatever we may think on our own independent workout in Krishna consciousness, but if it is not blessed by Krishna or the devotees, it will never become successful. Apparently, sometimes we see in our endeavors that there are no uh, seen blessings of the devotees, that we might have some differences over this and that, and we try to uh, urge Lord Sri Krishna that please uh, protect me, but I want to execute this desire. Hopefully, that might please you. But uh, Krishna may or may not approve this. So where will you go? Uh, then uh, I was checking out another 
for uh, part of Srila Prabhupada, and the answer was there immediately. Uh, as far as a devotee's success in spiritual life is concerned, it depends upon how much did you please the devotees. Uh, how much did you please the devotees? You took association of the devotees and if you fail to please the devotees, you owe something. Uh, a terrible penalty is there. We have to pay. Because the principle is, uh, if you say, Yasya Prasadat Bhagavad Prasadat, if you please the spiritual master, uh, you have a parameter to understand the pleasure of the Lord there. Pleasure is there. But at the same time you see, what about the devotees around us? Huh? So, a beautiful example is given by Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami in Chaitanya Charitam that thinking the uh, Chaitanya Leela is still going on in ISKCON because it has been inherited by empowered personality, Śrīla Prabhupāda. So it should not be out of any meaning to understand that uh, something is still uh, potentially very powerful going on in this call. Instead of criticizing the, the apparent situations in this call or dwelling into nitty-gritty differences, we can't make uh, a separatist attitude. It weakens us individually as well as collectively. So, Srila Prabhupada refers to that part that understanding Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associates, uh, that we must cultivate a very firm faith that. If they are as eternal associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then uh, they are not ordinary people. They are not ordinary people. Sankirtan movement cannot be run by ordinary people. That's a fact. Even chanting of Hare Krishna makes one qualified that he is not ordinary person, rather he is especially called out by Lord Krishna for his service. So, uh, when we try to uh, put the uh, geometrical uh, congruency that Krishna Leela, Chaitanya Leela and Srila Prabhupada Sankirtan movement uh, under their care cannot be ordinary. They are at parallel. So, uh, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he writes a very good purport on Chariya Vaishnava Seva Nistar Pai If we give up the service attitude to devotees, fellow devotees, whom we are associating, uh, then what uh, fruitfulness will be able to get. So the idea is that we have to put up a very comprehensive plan of unification of uh, uh, devotional engagement and all around his con and all around expansions of his con like Bhakti Vruksha and I must commend Aniradha Prabhu and uh, Melbourne devotees who are participating. They are one of a kind in the whole world.
in the under your guidance. Huh? Anyway, we have a great opportunity to uh, serve Lord Krishna together in the spirit of uh, Vaishnava Seva. So I thank you very much. Krishna bless you. Shri Prabhupada ki jai. Shri Gurudev ki jai. I would like to invite uh, His Grace Aninda Prabhu to say a few words. His Grace. What do you mean? Well, he'd like to invite Shiva Radha Prabhu to speak. His Grace Shiva Radha Prabhu, please offer a few words to Guru Prabhu. Maum Vishnu Padaya Krishna Vesha Bhutale Shimate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Namaste Saraswate Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Sanyavadi Aschatya Desha Tarine Kizorne Svidra Swami Maharaj Ki Jai I have a lot of things I have the whole history. I cannot tell you in a few minutes. So, but you have seen the pictures that already been explained to you. We had a long, long relationship with Maharaj, including my whole family. And uh, whenever he comes to my home in America, he immediately takes charge of the kitchen. <laughs> So he said, you just get out, <laughs> let me cook, and what do, you want to do? what do you want to eat? I said, Maharaj, whatever you have, you can eat, and I can, whatever you cook, I will eat, because I know it is all tasty. So I don't have any special requirements, but then he will say, okay, I will cook. And he will make the item from nothing. And it's so amazingly, sweet, I mean, tasty, he, and the other thing is, he never cooks a little thing. Never cooks, even if we are two people, he never cooks for two people. But ten people can eat, he will keep, cook that much. <laughs> so I told Maharaj, what are you doing? We are only two people here right now. And he's cooking for ten people. Don't worry, it will all be gone. <laughs> <laughs> so this is his peculiar thing and his nature that he doesn't want anybody to go hungry anytime. So, uh, I'm also I'm experiencing, I'm traveling with Maharaj nowadays, so I, I have to say no Maharaj, I cannot eat anymore. <laughs> because last, in, in, when we were traveling in USA, I generally take only one meal in the evening. In the afternoon or in the morning, I just take milk and the nuts and fruits, so that's it. When Maharaj is there and I'm traveling with Maharaj, I have to eat three times. <laughs> so. I saw my I saw my figure in the mirror. I said, "No, I have to cut down." <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> Whenever I go, all of you feed me three times. <laughs> so what can I do? So, and the spiritual life of uh, of myself is due to Maharaj only. He is the one who told me. Whenever I was going in the uh, 55th Street in New York Temple, and Maharaj was also there, and somehow that we get made, uh, we made our friendships in the uh, Consulate General of India in New York due to some problems with the uh, uh, government because the old temple in Henry Street was burned down with, uh, and the, the devotee forgot to cancel the lease. So the landlord uh, claim for the damage and the temple had no money. So we all the life members get together and we went to the consulate because they, all the members wanted to uh, money back. So we had to give as a loan and Maharaj was the instrument to collect the uh, money from the other members. So at that time we met and from then onwards we, made, we become friends. And so one day Maharaj calls me, he said, Prabhupada is coming, he said, let's 
we can take initiation from him. I said, Maharaj, how can I do that? I'm not chanting 16 rounds now. He said, don't worry, when you take initiation, you automatically chant 16 rounds. <laughs> I said, okay, Maharaj, let's see. It was then, that time. <laughs> not now. Not now. now. <laughs> <laughs> but at that time, the Prabhupada was very anxious that the Indians devotee involved in the moment. And so you have seen the picture that we all had a mustache while doing the initiation. And they were not requiring anything, you have to shave your hair, remove your mustache and everything. They just sit down. <laughs> that's what the idea, just sit down and see the initiation. And that's that we did it. And, and Adi was chanting only eight rounds. And said, Forget it, let's go. I pulled him so hard. <laughs> <laughs> made him sit. sit Mara, <laughs> Maharaj was at that time serving sannyasi. Uh, um, his name is Adi Keshe Maharaj. He's no longer a sannyasi now. So he had the influence to introduce ourselves and put the names of our names for Sila Prabhupada's um, sanction. And that was done. And of course, he used to also done. And after that, the second edition was done. And Maharaj started to come to my home regularly. And he has seen the many pictures of my home. And he also practically, I would say, he trained my boys. And today they are devotees. So, this is our, I mean, relations with Maharaj. And I will never forget and never be able to repay uh, whatever he has done for us. I remember one time in 19... Uh, 78, uh, Renuka, his wife, uh, she gave birth to uh, the first son, okay? And she had difficulty, and, but he would adamantly come to the temple every weekend, and she had some objection, reservation. She said, no, you come, anyway, you come. And as if she was resisting Krishna conscious, I chastised her. Mm, yes. I told her so strongly uh, that she was stunned. At that time, and she started chanting herself and, and became a devotee. She but, got initiated by Satur Maharaj at that time. But uh, when I was taking the initiation, so she was adamantly opposing that, no, you cannot do that. We just got married, how can you take initiation? <laughs> <clears throat> so then I found out, I was so much in anxiety and so morose that what should I do now, you know? When the wife allows this, husband has to think twice. <laughs> but, if the husband is smart, he will see the, the future in the spiritual life. So then I found out, after the, I took the initiation anyway, and uh, <clears throat> In, I was staying in the temple for that initiation and my wife was also there and I was in a, so much anxiety, what should I do now? Because my wife is saying no and I am telling her to take initiation and he says no. I said, what should I do? So, and that night, Prabhupada came into dream and he said, don't worry, she will be okay. So I said, alright. So that gave me the uh, some kind of consolations. <clears throat> then I found out why she is resisting and why she is opposing. So she has a friend and that friend was telling her don't allow him to do this. And I found out that when I told her do you know that what your friend is telling about you? And I told her this so and so thing. So she immediately dropped her friendship right there and forget about calling her and take, going to her home, you know. I said that Krishna did the work and she, <laughs> and she ready to get initiation and she got initiation. So anyway, the important thing is if you are fortunate enough, you will have a good association of a devotee. And if you have the association of a devotee, please don't neglect it. You stick to that and follow this instructions of the Guru Dev. So, I have done that and I, and I hope all of you are very good devotees and all of you have good association in this Melbourne temple. So, please continue and serve Srila Prabhupada. Hari Bhavad.
कबीरदास महाराज की लास्ट ईयर आई वॉज इन थ्री जी एंड राघवा देवीदास शी वॉज टर्मिनली हिल एंड शिवाला दे कॉल मी एंड महाराज कम सो आई हैव टू गो बैक I came from Amsterdam uh, in New York to Fiji, and within a uh, few days, I think ten, fifteen days, I was called back because she was uh, at the last stage. She had uh, multiple uh, uh, systematic atrophy, what they call it. Uh, so. Um, I have been, you know, having a privilege that I am being respected by my senior. You know how old is he? Can you imagine? Can you guess how old is he? Thirty years. Huh? <laughs> of course. I am the youngest. He is. He is seventy-three year old. <laughs> And I'm only 68. I'm a baby. He's my senior. He's my senior. Amongst these three stooges, he's the oldest stooge. Materially. Hmm? No, materially. Anyway. Spiritually, I'm a little kid. But we also play some some part in in the spiritual life as stooges. That is also there. But anyway. Uh, I have to stand by whenever you know my near and dear people call me. I will go uh, without any consideration. I have to deal with, and then I will go and attend because that's the meaning of relationship. Is it's not material in nature; it's a spontaneous affection, and if it is. Uh, done through the medium of Krishna consciousness, then it becomes meaningful. Otherwise, it, every relationships are temporary and losing its meaning. Shivaraj Prabhu ki.